everyone, Chef Stuart here. I'm partnering up with Pearl's Olives on a new campaign, hashtag Dream Olive, with other influential chefs. And we're coming up with new ideas using olives, some traditional, some with new twists, um, on this new campaign because we want you in that kitchen. We're all kind of stuck at home now in this new normal. So we're gonna help you get through it with delicious new recipes. So let's get started. All right, today I'm making my very own snack board, which is one of my favorite things. I could eat these things all night, every night of the week, to be honest. But I'm gonna be using pitted black olives from California and also imported Kalamata olives. It's so delicious. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned and let's get cooking or assembling. Now, Pearl's black olives are grown in California from the Musco family olive company. They're 100% grown here, as I said earlier, and they're picked peak of freshness, and you can really see and taste the difference. Now, I'm gonna be using the snack pitted black olives I'm on the board towards the end. You'll see what I'm gonna do with those, but for right now, I have Pearl Specialities, and the jalapeno stuffed is one of my favorites, and I'm gonna add that to the board, too. So we have a nice variety on our board here. It's really just a full forward, like, olives board, which I love. So usually it's always about the cheeses and the meats, but this board, it's all about the olives. So we're gonna add some jalapeno olives to our board too. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of those out into my little bowl. And now it's just, we get in there. We have a bunch of ingredients. We're just gonna start layering them up and we're gonna start putting our board together. I have some calabrese, I have some prosciutto, I have some marcona almonds, some sun-dried tomatoes, some strawberries, baguette, breadsticks, everything so let's get to it right now let's do it and i like to group the kind of meats together the nuts together when we start off and you want to fill out the board to the edges it's almost like the messier the better but it's kind of like an organized mess now this board does from like two to four people if you're me i'll eat it all on my own so now i got some stuffed cherry peppers i'm just going to add right there Okay, beautiful. I got some Marcona almonds that you can kind of just kind of sprinkle here, kind of throughout the board, just like that. I got some strawberries. Nothing like some freshness going on in your board too. You can get fruits in there, you get nuts in there. Just a bunch of stuff, you can't really go wrong with this. And now I'm gonna add some toasted baguette, just lightly toasted it. It doesn't look that brown. Okay, wait, I'm busy, all right? I need a quick snack. So ripe, so fresh, it's crazy. You would think it came out like of this big jar, but there's moisture in there. They really got it down, the Moscow family with these. These are good. All right, back to the board. Okay, so we got some sun-dried tomatoes here, which goes really good with the baguette as well, and the olives. We got some baby buffalo mozzarella balls here. I'm gonna add a few breadsticks just to kind of break up kind of at the side here or even kind of through here as well. Like any gaps, there's no right or wrong way to do this. I got some pita chips I'm gonna to add to it. Kind of maybe in here at the side, just any gaps. Some basil leaves for a nice pop of green in there. And finally, we're back to pitted Black olives from California. I'm just gonna pop off two of these. Again, perfect for snacking, but perfect for finishing your board as well. I'm gonna pop those open. And you can just kind of sprinkle them in kind of little clusters around the board, just like that. I mean, I know we may not be traveling right now much, but we're in California, we're in California olives. I swear, I could eat these Pearl's olives, olives to go cups, all day. I literally polished off a four pack. Like, just gone, just, you know, gone. But anyway, we want you guys to dream big too. So do not forget that hashtag dream olive, right? Post your videos, post your comments, post your photographs. We wanna see them. And for every hashtag we see, we're gonna donate a meal for Feeding America up to 200,000 meals. So get cooking, get assembling, and uh, thank you so much for watching and Hashtag Dream Olive. Bye, guys.